The Rosine winter is almost here. Reagan's actually gonna go around back, hop in Rosine. Me and Ty are gonna be up here getting a little in introduction with the guy, hanging out, chatting just for a minute. And then we're actually gonna have Reagan pull this truck around for him and drive it right up to the front here so you can check it out next to the dually. Which by the way, let's go look at that dually real quick. If you wanna get entered to win this beautiful 1997 12 Al Cummins 5 seat manual truck. Truck is beautiful, comes with five grand. Link in the description, lmpgear.com. Place those orders and get entered to win this truck right now. Are we running a promo right now? We might be. I think we are. Probably. I think we're running a pretty sweet deal right now. So check your emails or check the description. Maybe I'll drop it there. But if you get our app notifications, which you can download, links in the description, or you get our emails or texts, you probably got the promo. And you're a step ahead of everybody else in terms of entries. So. Good luck, and uh, can't wait to meet this guy. Here he comes, man. Charlie, if you're watching this, here you come, bro. Here he comes. There he is. You remember that TikTok in real we posted about four guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel so bad for that now. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Amy. Nice to meet you. We got more uh, followers for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah, man. Quite a few. Dude, is that the hat that won you the truck, or did you uh, this buy one a few of them. hats? One, one of, them? of them, yeah. Okay, okay. Actually, awesome. Awesome. My son, because he's, he's into the diesel thing, oh, too? Yeah. You said he has a third gen and a second gen? He has a third gen. He had a second okay. gen. He had a second gen. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you ready to see your truck to right, right now? now. <laughs> Shooter attacks. Oh, I got it. Look at all that. I think it's a little bit loud. <laughs> her last drive in her truck. Oh, she wasn't when we first decided to do the game. <laughs> but it was her idea. I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> they always do usually. Yeah. I am so sorry. No, no, not. Congratulations. <laughs> so good to meet you. I hope you love her. <laughs> yeah, we just filmed a video yesterday and we were driving it like one last drive as a couple. And she's like, now that I think about it, what's weird is. Like of all the trucks we've had, this thing's given her like no issues other than a fuel system failure one time back in 2018. And then they did a new VP44, a new Somp, a new lift a new, I mean, we did all really everything. Yeah. Yeah. So then, other than that, thank you. We've actually taken on several, several hour trips and stuff. Oh, yeah. This never gave us any issues. No problem. The of this thing is so Tires have maybe 1,000 miles on them. Yeah. Brand new Toyo MPs. Yeah. Yeah. What boys will be. Flip them out. <laughs> <laughs> she, put her, she put her really uh, little red light up there to match the rosine. <laughs> High school modifications, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this, we pretty much, other than the fuel system, we haven't done anything real crazy to it. It's got an aftermarket SUV intake, pretty much it, other than the upgraded fuel system. That and then She does have a uh, an old edge tuner in there that was put in by the previous owner in like 2014 or 15. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't have like big injectors, no big turbos, no big, no nothing like that. But we've never had any problem with it, so it's one of those things where it's like, Broke, I know, like, like we've modified a lot of trucks, but once you do that, it's like, gosh dang, now the trans is slipping. Now this, now the rear end needs work, and it's just one thing after another. Usually, you do five thousand dollars of the work here, then you have to do twenty thousand the rest of the truck just to keep it to hold together. So, do you want a second gen specifically, or did you just happen to see it and you're like, oh, I might as well enter for a second gen? I did. It's, that was it. That was it. I mean, 
just seen seen the the uh, church on the website. Yeah. Or it was on Facebook. Right. Like, nobody ever wins and stuff. Right. Yeah. I was like that. I'm always buying hats and stuff like that for me and my boy. And did that. And here we are. That's true. The old second gen. I might have to show him the the next giveaway truck that's live right now. Oh yeah. That yeah. thing. Well, I'm actually, this thing. You're entered for yeah, both, he's right? Entered, he's yeah, entered he got dual entry. I know. I told him on the phone. I was like, it's always a little bit confusing when we have somebody that won through the dual entry period. Because I'm like, was there like one or the other? You were kind of hoping for more. Because we've had people before that are like, oh, I'd enter during dual entry, but I don't want to win the one truck. I'm not able to win the other one because I want to give away. And I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> With, if you enter for both, after 30 days from being drawn for one, you're eligible for the next yeah. automatically. So even though you enter for both, you might have gotten the call two weeks later. By the time this drawing happens, it'll be more than 30 days. So you're eligible all over again by the time that happens. So if you're wondering, during dual entry, you're not disqualified for one or the other if you happen to win, like he did. He's still in this giveaway right here. Sorry, who knows? Do you match here in three weeks? <laughs> One time, we had somebody get drawn twice, but the first time he got drawn, he was 17 years old. He was like a month out from being 18, so we couldn't win the truck. And he's like, oh man, that's a bummer. He's like, well, I'll try again. You know, once I'm 18, a year later he enters, he gets drawn again for almost an identical truck. We did another second gen 12 out, same, almost the same configuration. And I saw the name that had got drawn by attorney sent me and I'm like, this name looks familiar. He's like, yeah, he's like, I thought it was familiar. He's like, but he's like, I, I can't see him as a winner in any of the database. I don't think he's been drawn before, you know, cause it only goes as a saved winner in the database if they were, they accepted the prize. Call, he gets here and I'm like, dude, I'm like, your name sounds so familiar. He's like, I was the first guy you ever drew for a giveaway and I was 17. I said, you've got to be kidding me. He's like, I just kept entering once I turned 18. I said, oh my Wild. goodness. Yeah, the, the fact that that happened is pretty crazy. Seriously. It goes to show your odds, though. Everybody thinks it's like it's impossible, true. but it's not. Definitely not impossible. No. The only thing I've ever won is a hard time. This is the first time for everything. Right? You know, win some scratch off tickets here and there. Right. <laughs> Spend 20 bucks, win a $5 ticket. Like, ah! Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet, too. <laughs> Dude, this thing is. It's a clean truck. Originally from Arizona. Should be a lot of southern trucks then. Um, it kind of depends. Like we get a lot of trucks that came from the south, and it was like somebody brought it up here. Like this guy. Yeah, I brought it up from Arizona. Drove it for one year, and I'm just like, man, I just feel so bad driving this truck up here. Like, because I want to, I want to park it, but I can't afford to own a twenty thousand dollar truck. To park it. Yeah. So it's like, I will sell it. You know one of those deals that happens all the time you know but we bought in some trucks that were local guys had them all repainted everything cut out or we have them all redone top to bottom if we just can't find anything within a reasonable distance but but when we can find a truck like this and you like look around the whole thing and it's like it's just hard to pass this truck like <laughs> even if they're asking like way more you're just kind of like but it's so nice <laughs> That's the way my son sits, he's got all his rockers and his uh, cab corp, he's got a mega cab. Yeah. It's all cut out right now, just which we replace it. Well, I mean, slowly replacing stuff. Right. Yeah, we got a truck that's secretly being completely redone right now, that none of them know about. <laughs> it was a truck that was on our channel for a while, and it disappeared. We're bringing it back. They're totally different. They're not going to wreck this. Cool. Stay right, stay tuned for more. Coming on uh, the reveal will be Tuesday, May 16th. Right? Tuesday, yes. May 16th. Yeah. 9 30 p.m. Thursday, Pacific. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. It's one of those trucks where, you know, I think they'll love it. I see where you put something out there for everybody to try to figure out. Right, I guess. It's right. I think you're a newer YouTube viewer. Mostly yeah. just a Facebook viewer. At the well, moment. I did see that. I saw when you pulled it out. And... Custom sub box. I had built. I have a whole video series of building this thing. They took it to a upholstery guy. Couldn't actually mess it. Couldn't seats. With a 12-inch sub in it. Those are the wires going to it. It's just a positive and a negative. Yeah. Clip in. 
Um, you still have your flip out cup holders right there. As helpful and handy as those are. <laughs> I mean, it's way better than those ones. Those ones are those like ones a are little like... tray. You're like, oh, yeah. what are you putting in that? Like a can of dip maybe, but it's not holding it. It ain't holding the cup. <laughs> the amp for that is just right under this. See? Oh. And then this was the old cup holder module that yeah it, we couldn't find out how we wanted to mount it underneath but it still could be mounted so i never did it just because we never used the back seat but you could in theory mount this under the sub box still fasten it to the bottom and then have your pull a cup holder back because she bought a new axle and they replaced it yes yeah, that. Other than that, I mean, wait to start running, I'm sure you, you said you had a pump thing, so you're good with all that stuff. Yeah, it might be just but resistor. It still blows cold and still blows hot, but it only works in high setting. He loves this truck. It's called the big truck. Is this a big truck? He's got dirt in his nails, and he runs around out here. Oh, you should see him. He's a little, clothes on half the time. little kind of dirt ball. The house. <laughs> and then, big truck. There's a fully custom in-depth fabrication tip on the truck. Yeah. And you didn't clean the tip, bro. Did I not? <sighs> you didn't clean the tip? Hey, wait a second. No, that wasn't me. You had one job, bro. <laughs> it's freaking sick. I'm trying to get these tires, these wheels. Can you like two days ship these things if I get the order in right now? And they're like, you just give us an address, they'll be there. I'm like, you want to send an invoice? So, like, it's a gift. We're like, right on. That is awesome. Yeah, they've been a great, great company to work with over that stuff. We've got them in every single YouTube video. I think we've posted in the last five years in the yeah. description. You know, check out Anthem Wheels, AnthemWheels.com. Like, so it's pretty mutual. They know we've stuck loyal to them for the most part all those years. And they just let you get to a stock, right? Right. <laughs> Until that. And then they're like, gosh, dang it. I think horror. we would have made a lot of people mad if we wouldn't have left it stock. Yeah, like, we had to do the Bubba truck look on that. everybody said that. <laughs> Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Yeah, we were just having this conversation yesterday. I'm like, most of these guys that are saying, Leave it alone, don't touch it, they don't even know. Like, once we, once we actually do it, like, with the headlights and cab lights, everybody's like, no, don't do clear, don't do clear, don't do clear in LEDs. Once we did it, we're like, how do you like the clear in LED versus amber? And it was like, 80 percent to 20 percent they're like that's way better I'm like see i'm like half the time they don't know what they want you just gotta do it take your best guess make it happen and then once the overall looks together usually people are pretty like oh yeah that's nice Two trucks in the background right here. I don't know. True. <laughs> Can't really go wrong. I don't know how you ran your plane around here. Yeah, I don't know either. When I put it on this morning, I was like, it was a little chilly out. And after uh, a little while, I'm like, it's pretty After like five out. minutes. Uh... Oh, it's 80 degrees. Oh, wow. That's why it's warm. <laughs> I was going to say, this merch is just so high quality. It's, like, it's so hot. Out. Well, All right. it's been real fun talking. Yeah. At the deer hunting, the turkey hunting, the trucks. You got We talked about the trucks a little bit. <laughs> mostly, mostly the hunting stuff. And uh, anything you want to say, Reagan, on camera for the record? No, I just hope you enjoy your truck. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll take care of it for you. Oh yeah. I like this one. I can't wait to see photos and 
If you ever go to sell it. <laughs> yes. I'll give you guys a call. Just give us a ring. Just give us a ring. Just in case. Just, Just in case, case she's like, I really want it back, <laughs> you know? But, uh, hey, hey, thanks so much for your business. Really appreciate it. And, uh, hope you enjoy the truck. Once in a lifetime. Absolutely. That's awesome. Absolutely. I really Congrats. So. I'm a hugger. Sir, you're a hugger? <laughs> okay, let's bring it in. <laughs> and he's a jokester. I don't bite. <laughs> better when somebody else is driving it, you know what I mean? This thing is so good looking. There she goes. She's off. She's, She's off. She wasn't done talking. I wasn't, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Enter to win this dually at lmpgear.com. Just cut that in part. <laughs>